Yep, I was right. Out of my way, booster boy. Welcome to Phobos Revisited, a remake of Knee Deep in the Dead. Yes, there's another one of those. There's a lot of those, actually. But I think this is actually a pretty old one, from what I can tell. And of course, I'm stacking on Beautiful Doom, because Beautiful Doom makes everything better. And also, this seems like a vanilla mod anyway, so... Whenever something is vanilla and it doesn't really add to the presentation, Beautiful Doom is always a must to have over it. Because like I said, it makes everything better. Okay, this area hasn't... Oh, never mind! I was about to say this area hasn't changed too much, but clearly it was wrong. Can't wait to see what that did. Oh. Well, it didn't do anything here, that's for damn sure. Also, it actually kind of removed content, because that switch here is no longer there. But you know what, that's okay. Didn't need it anyway. Uh, that's interesting. Prick. I call foul, man. I call foul. Yeah, whatever. These levels are probably going to be on the relatively short side compared to some mods I've played. So hopefully... Oh, okay. Did not expect that. Clearly this isn't just vanilla. It's just vanilla in appearance. But... Actually, no, strike that. I forgot. If it's just teleporting from a monster closet, then yeah, it's still vanilla. For some reason, I thought it was actually transporting them, but... I'm thinking... That doesn't necessarily have to be the case. They could just be... Being teleported from... A monster closet like they did in the Vanilla Doom. So, never mind. What the hell? What the hell'd that do? Well, okay then. What even is this? I have to give it credit for creativity, but what, seriously, what is that supposed to be? It doesn't even look right. Oh well. Apparently the first level was one of the last levels that Romero and Carmack, well, maybe Romero, one of the, the level designers made because apparently the first level should be one of the last things you make simply because it'll show off all the techniques that you learned along the way. It'll be your best foot forward, you know what I mean? You gotta make a strong first impression and all that good crap. So that's why they decided to make it last, which makes a lot of sense if you think about it. In some ways this is reminding me of Neep Deep and the Dead. I'm not sure if it came out after it or not, but it's definitely giving me that vibe right now. Or at least the part about how you blow up at least I think you blow up a tunnel, and then you go in, and then you buy, you skirt around the closed door. I don't know. Just forget everything. Damn, just, just high enough that you can't jump over it. That's too bad. Ooh. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, okay. It was the right one. I just don't know what that other one was that apparently went down. Wait, what? Oh, okay, it is the line. There is a line somewhere, isn't there? Never mind. I've got no idea what's going on. Is that the lift that went down? Because I've got no idea. Screw it. Running. There we go, just in time. The classic secret that oversees everything else, except this time it's not a one-way wall, it's just all fully visible, I guess. But I suppose it kind of makes sense, I mean, if players already know about the secret, why bother hiding it, I guess? Very cute. Very cute indeed. Well, time to wait for that. Phobos. Revisited. Oh, I didn't take any damage, surprisingly. That's a first, isn't it? So that's some interesting detail you got there. How it actually looks like it's collecting into a pool. 
You know, there are different interpretations with that. I know uh, Doom 3 Classic actually interpreted that as just a, a puddle. You know, a leak. Some kind of radiation leak from the base. This actually interprets it as an intentional thing, which... It's different, but I think it's just as valid. In fact, in some ways, I think it actually makes more sense. I have no idea what that sound is. There's clearly a moving ceiling slash floor somewhere over there. It's kind of weird. But well, whatever. I guess it can't be helped, right? Oh, okay, they're all dead. Ding dong, the witch is dead. What do you think you're doing, buddy? Oh, holy crap! Yeesh! It actually took me by a surprise. Where'd it go? I guess I just wasn't paying attention to the auto map. But I guess it's kind of good that I didn't because that wouldn't have meant, meant anything if I saw it coming, you know? Sometimes being shocked by something is a good thing because that w that's what was intended. After all, the vanilla map doesn't do that. Prick. You're a prick. You're a douche. You're a... Freak. You're a real freak, you know that? Would you get out of here? Or at least have the, have, the, have the decency to show yourself, you prick. Ooh, a backpack. Sweet. That time, I had to find you, you... You coward. Suddenly, you didn't want to mess with this, did you? Really? Are you for real, man? Wow, okay. Well done. Well done indeed. You definitely got me. Off guard. Obviously the secrets aren't going to be the same as in the original. Because that might make things a little too easy. A little too manageable, so to speak. So this time... F if I know, you gotta... Find something... You gotta figure something out. Okay, obviously that's not going to be something that you can be opened. Even the music sounds different, I just noticed. Oh, crap. I'm wasting too much shells on these jerks. Wait, what the? Alrighty, then. Whatever floats your boat there, chief. Screw this. I've wasted enough shells on you jerks already. Ooh, what do we have here? It's probably some kind of trap. How much you want to bet? How much you want to freaking bet, man? Really? Well, that's great. Ooh, what did that actually do? I guess I'll find out, won't I? What that it do? I don't see that it changed anything, so... It did something over here. Oh. Oh, okay. It's very subtle, that's why I didn't see it. It allows you to go outside. Jerk. Well, at least I made it outside like you do the, in the original. Made me like, just like in the original, you get a chain gun. Wouldn't that be nice? Nope. Just a soul sphere. Why? F if I know. Because we're not going to give the player the one thing they really want. Freaking chainsaw. Chain gun. Did I say chainsaw? Oh, never mind. Didn't even notice that. Well, aren't I an idiot? Okay, then. Re disregard everything. Well, at least I have the proper weapon for killing you. The most efficient of the weapons. Okay, you can just go to hell right now. Okay, I'm guessing the key to actually unlock that is elsewhere. Actually, in the original E2 M1, M E2 M A1 M2, I'm sorry, I'm confusing everything. In the original E1 M2, 
if I remember correctly, there, there was that maze that you had to go through. That ought to be fun. Ouch. I should have known it was going to do that. I can't believe I didn't see that coming. Or that prick coming out of nowhere. I mean, it all just comes out of nowhere. If you think about it. I shouldn't be so concerned. I mean, pretty much the one thing that can do the most damage to me is shotgunners, and they don't appear that often in the original, so pro they probably don't appear that often in here. And even then, they have weaknesses too, such as long distances and whatnot. It's probably a bad idea to hit an imp with a shotgun after you've already weakened, have already softened him, because it's kind of a waste of ammo, but I think I care. No, I don't. Clearly the maze has gotten a noticeable bump up in quality. There's a lot more fidelity, I'll give you that much. It's actually possible to get get lost in here. Oh no, you don't. You stupid prick. Oh, it's just one of you? Just two of you, huh? That all you got? That all you freaking got, mate? This is disappointing you. You call this a force? I'll show you a force. Well, that was a knee-jerk reaction if I ever saw one. I get the feeling. Okay, there we go. I know I saved too much. That's more out of paranoia than anything else. I think, well, if I don't save, then I'm not going to make it, and then I'll lose. I'll waste a lot of time getting back up, and then I just end up making it, and I think, well, maybe I need to have more confidence in myself. Maybe if I had that, I'd be balling right now. What's this? Oh. I see. Well done. Okay, I don't want to lose health for no reason. Okay, did that actually do anything, though? Well, that was a waste of health. Going through it the second time, I mean. What did that actually do, though? It clearly didn't do anything at the spot that it actually matters mattered in, so... What did it do? It had to have done something. I hear a lot of enemies, so I think I can extrapolate what it did. Ah. Uh. Damn it. And this time I don't make it. Really fine, whatever. Think I give a crap? Oh, okay. There's a radiation suit here. Cool. Prick. You're a jerk, you know that? Now and forever. You're just a big old jerk, ain't ya? At least now I can go exploring a little more in this radiation. This just doesn't make any sense. Should I go back down to the maze? Damn it! Of course, when I don't quick save, I don't make it. When I quick save, I do make it, so. Tell me if it's worth it or not. Ah, okay. Why wasn't that a thing before? Not sure if that was a thing before or not. Well, at least I know where to go now. Good to know. Take this. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Pretty sure I made that joke about a million times already. Huh. The fire is out, and yet I can still hear it burn. Must be a soft sizzle. Kind of weird. Kind of weirder that that's considered a secret and it doesn't even have anything. Or maybe it did. Maybe that's just one of the rooms that wasn't opened yet. Well, I'm probably not going to get to the chainsaw secret or possibly even the backpack secret, but what do I care? I've already got what matters to me. This. 
Burning, burn, burning. Yeah, maybe it's worth looking around a bit more. Why not? I've got time for it. I've got all the time in the world! Hang tight real quick. Hey, you know what? Screw this. I really don't need any of the other secrets. Who needs them? I certainly don't, and I'm definitely not compensating for the fact that I can't find a damn thing. So put all those thoughts behind you. Because it's time for us to move on. It's time for the toxin refinery. And I think you know what kind of toxins they're talking about. You need a blue key to activate this object, huh? Take that! Oh, crap. Well, he certainly showed me, didn't he? Oh, boy. Hello. Well, already it's taking a twist. You get it? Douchebag. Ah, I see. Would you just go straight to hell, please? All of you! There you go, just kill each other. That'll work just fine for me. I really don't care as long as you die. I don't care how, what way you do it. Just die. Take this. Waiting for you guys to kill each other was taking way too long. And any halfway decent killer doesn't sit there and wait for someone else to get the job done, especially when that person, that being, is incompetent. A true slayer gets the job done. Well, okay then. That was easy. I get the feeling this isn't going to be as straightforward as I think it's going to be. Oh boy. It's time for me to duck and weave. Well, that went by easier than expected. Hey, why don't you come this way? Just, just a little bit more. Damn it. Just come, come this way. There you go. I see we've got an outlier here. Oh well. It's nothing I can't handle. It's just cleaning up the trash. Oh yeah. I see that in, in addition to adding more fidelity, it also corrupts expectations. It's not nearly as straightforward as you think it's gonna be. Everything is twisted around. Like that guy's head was twisted from his head, from his body. Your head just got twisted from your neck. There you go. That was funny. Oh, you didn't think it was funny? Too bad. You're dead now, so who cares what you think is funny? You douchebag. You can just go straight to hell. You can go to hell in pieces. Never mind. I guess not everything goes according to plan, huh? How disappointing. Both my plans and you. All disappointing. Well, this is interesting. Interesting level design you've got here. I see. Really? Oh, crap. Damn it. They were trying to trap me. Put me on a platform where I could easily fall into the radiation if I'm not careful. It put me into a situation where I would naturally want to duck and weave. That's devious. Granted, I think, unlike the first one, this one isn't inescapable, so... That is one point that it definitely has over the original Toxin Refinery. This one isn't nearly as much of a douchebag about it. Although, getting knocked into radiation and losing some of your health is always a douchey situation, no matter what. This just... I don't know, softens the blow a little bit. But make no mistake, it's still douchey. Really? Okay, that was bad. They may have succeeded in killing each other, but I ended up getting hurt in the process. Ew. It's not worth it. 
There you go, buddy. Now to get your shotgun ammo. Well, this is interesting, isn't it? Now the secret is the exit. Let me guess. I was about to say, no, the, the actual exit can't be a secret because I just came out of what was going to be originally the exit. It certainly corrupts the level design in ways you wouldn't expect. I have to give it props for that. It's not just a, a remake. It's not just a fidelity enhancer like so many others. It actually has something that's unique to it. Well, mostly unique. I think there was that other... There was that other mod I played. I, forget, I don't even remember what it's called. I think it twisted levels around too, but the, the difference is this also adds fidelity to it. It, it. it changes things up. It doesn't look exactly like the original. It doesn't just take them like jigsaw pieces and move them around. It, it goes the extra mile. It twists things around and it adds extra fidelity. So it's the best of both worlds and that makes it better. In my personal opinion. No, you don't. That's exactly why I saved compulsively. I need to quit doing that so often. I promise I will only do it when I clear a room. Also when I'm in sticky situations. Basically, if I'm in a situation where I think I could take damage unduly. What do we have here, huh? And what do we have here? How do you get in there, huh? What's your secret? What's your angle? Oh, okay. Cool. Nice. That was easy. Huh. Cool. Wait a minute. But then where's the other one? Where's the one that gets you to the soul sphere, huh? That was weird. Do you have to go to another one to get to the soul sphere? Surely it would be symmetrical somewhere. Probably not, but hey, I can dream. Someone can dream. Although I can't imagine where it would actually be. Maybe here? No. Let's see if anything else actually opened from this. Nah, I thought it was an opening, but it turned out it was just a, a burn scorch. That's the unfortunate thing about Beautiful Doom sometimes. With the extra detail out of the environments, especially the wall decals, you could easily mistake it for something else. Just saying. Not that I'm going to crucify the mod for it, because it's not necessarily the mod's fault. It's just that it's, it's an unfortunate combination of things. Especially when a secret could easily just be a hole. Wait a minute. Is that a yellow key? Okay. Now the only question is how do I unlock that damn thing? What I have to do next is determine how to get the yellow key because until I do, I'm not I'm not going anywhere. Oh, okay. Cool. It's basically the same concept as E1M3, but different. So that's how you get to the soul sphere. Cool. I'll get, I have to give you props for creativity there. That's really nice. I'm not being sarcastic at all. That, that is legitimately cool. Oh, okay. It opened that. Something somewhere opened that. Alrighty then. Screw it. I guess it's one secret I'm just not going to get to. Wow, even something is simple as the secret of the start isn't going to be so simple. Nice job making it a circular area. That'd be funny if the if the area that was a circle in the original turned out to be a rectangular area now. Just to twist things. Whoa. This is interesting. At on one point it's completely different. But on the other hand, it has aspects of the original, such that if someone wanted to tell you that... It's hard to explain. Basically, you know Romero when he did E1M8, a remake of it? If someone told me that Romero made this, 
and he was just remaking all of episode one for the hell of it. I mean, I'd believe it. This looks like something he'd make. This looks like it's staying true to the id formula, if that even makes any sense. Okay, there's a soul sphere obviously tantalizing me. What the? There's gotta be something to open that then. Possibly this? Damn it. Nope. That didn't do anything. Clearly I was misled. Oh, hello. Ah, it's just another circle. This room isn't really changed all that much. You get you had the opening area turned into a circle, and now it's just two circles. They're not as unique now. That's a shame. But I can forgive you since everything else is so much more unique. Also, is it just me or when I saw those two shotgunners coming at me in unison? It was that the only one who was thinking, "Come play with us, Doom guy." The twins from The Shining, you know? Yeah, you probably know. Well then. Things are getting a lot more interesting around here. And a lot more douchey. Depending on what way you look at it. What? They twist! Ouch. I outran his fireball just to get hit by it. Man, I'm stupid. But that's beside the point. I guess another little twist is that the maze area you go through first. You gotta subvert your expectations, you know what I mean? What you thought was reality is now fantasy. You're caught in a landslide, and there's no escape from this reality. You just gotta open your eyes and see, for I'm just a poor boy. And I don't need no sympathy, because it's easy come, easy go. Little high, little low. Any way the wind blows, it doesn't really matter to me. I will never let you go, you fool! Actually, yeah, you will go. I'll let you go straight to hell. You can go straight to hell. So you are free to go. Straight to jail! Ha, huh, now you got burned! You know it's a, a low point on my part when I start quoting Family Guy unironically. At least it was classic Family Guy. When they were better! Before they started getting cancelled and just started making crap up as it goes along. Maybe this is why the show kind of needed a filter of some kind. Uh, restrictions. Because when they just let everything that comes out of their heads become an episode, that's when you make things dull and uninteresting. You need some kind of filter, even if it's a self-imposed one. I'm not saying censor yourself, I'm saying, you know, have some kind of filtration process. You see there's a lot of imps in there. So since everything is being twisted, I assume that a room representing something that was previously optional is now the only way forward. That's what I would guess. Oh, I see. That makes sense, don't it? Well, time to get hurt. Because that's the only way I'm getting out of this hell. By hurting myself deliberately. Ooh, look at that. Alrighty then. Cool. Ah, yep. Should have expected as much. Too bad I couldn't find the chainsaw on the previous level, but oh well. I guess I'll just have to use ammo against these freaks. Against these mooks. There's gotta be some way in there. And it's probably just not immediately uh, evident. Heck, it could be right here. It could just be over that way. Because it does seem like it travels this way. But it's hard to tell for sure. I see. 
That could be it. I just heard something open. Yep, I was right. Out of my way, booster boy. I finally got a backpack. Unfortunately, what I lost in return is my time. For I am all out of it! Although I will be returning to this, definitely. I just want to see what happens next. I want to see all of this episode one replacement. So don't worry. Within my usual five day cycle, I don't know why I chose five days, but that's just something we gotta live with unless you guys want to see me raise it up to seven days, an entire week slot. I could do that if you guys actually want it. Let me know in the comments below. But until, the, until then, that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like demon blood. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.